Hey there guys and welcome back to another Sunday Bank video. <laughs> this guy knows what's up, yeah he's getting ready for the intro. So my bank has changed a little bit since the last one I did, I think two weeks ago. Uh, here's a quick view of my stats. Um, I haven't really had much of a chance to tra train construction, I haven't really had the funds at the moment. Um, I've dropped two ranks I think, I went down to rank 12, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get that back once I make some more money. Um, I've really just been working on construction, hunter and farming I think at the moment. Uh, I got a few room crafting levels from Tears of Gothics. But um, yeah, that's about it so far. So let's go into my bank. This is my cash stack at the moment. I've only got one mil. Um, it just is, I never seem to have that much cash build up. I always just seem to buy planks in little amounts. Like whenever I have money, I'll go and buy planks. Um, I, I tend to buy them in really small amounts, like maybe just even as low as a few hundred, just whenever I can get uh, sellers, really. So I've had a lot of people ask me how much I've spent on construction so far, and I'm really not sure to estimate. Like It's, it's just hard because, as I said before, I've not bought everything in one go like it's been an ongoing thing. I think if I had to estimate maybe about 20 to 25 mil, I think, and uh, it's from my two main money income sources which is farm runs and um, obviously Hunter. So um, I, I heard when I do every 70 minutes or just over every 70 minutes, maybe like every once every two hours or something like that, I'll go and do a hair run and that can make really good profit through if you're doing hair runs through the day. And then there's obviously the dragon imps uh, that I'll be catching if when I go to Peru or just around RuneScape if anyone comes to my clan chat and tells me they have a DM. So yeah, let's have a look through the bank. If I scroll down, this is just uh, starting off with my construction. It's obviously runes and the construction stuff. And then going into crafting. This is my herb lore. So obviously this is my stack of herbs I've done from farming. I did a lot of toad flaxes, aventos, uh, rainars, which I made into prayer potions, which I sold most of them. I've got just about 100 left. Um, I also had quite a lot of irrits. I've been... Saving these up, I was farming these. Uh, I'm going to be making super attack potions and uh, just to train her blower up so I can eventually do, you know, stuff like um, be able to use Aventos or Toad Flexes eventually or um, Snapdragons when I can farm those. Uh, so, yeah, just going down to get some potions uh, onto wood cutting and I've just tried to sort everything into different skills. So, here we've got uh, just mining and smithing, uh, cooking, fishing. And uh, this is my little farming section, so I've got uh, quite a lot of seeds that I've bought. Um, I, buy, I tend to buy a lot of these on live streams just because it's hard for me to get stuff off of Zybez because people post fake offers and uh, and just because I can't really put my private chat on without getting spam to, to buy or sell people, so it's quite hard for me to buy stuff. Um, so yeah, there's just a bunch of seeds that I'll be planting for farm runs and uh, some resources that I've gathered from mainly farm runs, my farmer payments, I gather these myself. Uh, my seeds collection. At the moment I just do any herb seed I have and uh, I do some limp worts as well with my herbs just for a bit of extra profit and uh, just going down this is my range tab and uh, as you guys see I'm 6 to 8 ninja implings at the moment. I'm still trying to get 100. I'd really love 100 to do a looking video of them um, and sadly I've only one dragon impling left but I've only one dragon impling. Um, I've been just had to sell them all really to keep funding construction. I really didn't want to have to sell them all uh, but I ended up having to because I'm obviously going to have to do the ninja video before I do the dragon impling video So I guess um, if I keep selling my dragon imps, I'll have time to uh, get back dragons by the time I get a hundred of these uh, or so I hope So just going down I have some um, just some glories. Like, I think I got these some from loots of dragon implings that I split with people at Pearl and uh, Just some rings I made I was making jewelry and I'm probably going to alk them I'm trying to make stuff to alk uh, so when I open my gilded altar I'll have something to do I can just stand there and alk rather than doing nothing and uh, I made a Guild Adult on live stream, by the way, the other night, which is kind of cool. So down here, uh, it's just pretty much all junk with some Alks, some Alks, Alks, um, just some random stuff. Uh, some flat-packed furniture. Um, I'm thinking about maybe selling the whole costume room for 150k, so all the flat packs of that I'll just sell as like a set. Um, so I could possibly do making quite a few more sets of those, and I might be selling them on live stream or something. Alright, so my friend Darren wanted me to show his bank on video as well. Um, apparently he's pretty rich. I can imagine he's pretty rich. He does a lot of merch. Like 500 mil. Oh my god. Third age, body, plate legs, helm, fury whip, berserker ring. That's, that's pretty crazy rich right there. I have no idea how much third age worth. And those dragon bones. I have no idea how much that's worth, but yeah, 500 mil cash stack. That's possibly one of the richest people I've ever known in this game. And this is his friend P Hat Shock. Has ranger boots, ranger robin hat. Third Age and Third Age Mage. Holy crap, this guy likes his Third Age. <laughs> Another 300 mil cash stack. Wow. If anybody knows who actually is the richest person on RuneScape, leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to know what the bank of the richest person is right now. It's got to be either a staker or a merchant, right? It's got to be one of the, t one of the two. 
So I want to show you guys my house if it, uh, you didn't have time to tune into my live stream. So basically on live stream I furnished some of my house. I do now have a Gilded Altar. Now there was a myth um, that you have to get the marble burners to get the best XP bonus when you're burning your prayers. And it is actually a myth. You can use any burner you want, even the cheapest burner, and it'll give you the same bonus XP on a Gilded Altar. As long as you have the actual Gilded Altar built and a burner lit then and both burners lit you'll get the same amount of xp using the lowest burner as you would using the highest burner so i've went ahead and made the gold one just because i thought it looked cool um so yeah this is just uh i bought three gold leaves on things i thought would look cool so i, I had to have the carpet you know you have to have a cool carpet in your altar room <laughs> i used a gold leaf to obviously make the altar and i used a gold leaf on my lectern so if any of you guys want to come over to my house um and not train prayer you can make teletabs and um i think this one probably because it's the best one offers every teleport tab so it just gives you guys another option if you want to do that so just furnish some other stuff like uh, the bedrooms and a few things downstairs but um yeah there's still a long way to go with my house still a long <laughs> a long long journey to uh, having a the ultimate play by mansion so um this room especially is gonna be really expensive like i was working out the best throne costs like 25 mil like 25 mil for a throne well it's just crazy amount of money. This is like the biggest money sink in RuneScape right now, construction. So yeah, I just wanted to say a thanks to you guys for your support on my series, my channel, and uh, just support on RuneScape general to keep going for uh, some crazy goals that I make. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.